Oh, hi. Uh, hello, it's John Neal here from uh, Nuneaton in England. Uh, sign writer, handwriter, but I'm retired. So I'm doing other things now. Gardening, cycling, painting, all sorts of things. And a little bit of lettering now and again. Oh, and woodwork too. So, even though I think most people, and there are 11,000 followers on this channel so far, which is terrific, and they keep increasing, I don't know why, because I'm not doing anything. So I thought I'd, I'd do a few more things, but I've, I've had a few comments. A lovely one here from Chuck. Hi Chuck. In um, Tonasket, or is it Tonasket, or Tonasket? It's in Washington, right up near the Canadian border, on the far side of America. and, it, and uh, He's made some very, very complimentary um, comments about the videos. Thank you very much, uh, Chuck. Great name, Chuck. It's kind of American with Chuck. So, um, just to prove I do sometimes love America. Ah, an American flag for you. I picked this up uh, when I was in California. Because my son and daughter-in-law live there. And granddaughter now, and grandson on the way too. And we're going back over to... Uh, San Jose in um, <clears throat> uh, in November for Thanksgiving. Anyway, uh, just to prove that we're still in England, I'm going to just keep drinking my tea. Right, so the lettering idea I thought I'd do is some standard lettering, but I'm going to do uh, an art exhibition of some of my paintings. I'll just show you some of the paintings. Th uh, these are uh, watercolours mostly, and I've Commission, had commissions for one or two of them and some house portraits as well which is good fun and uh, the ones I want to sell I'm going to put them in a cafe in town but I, I know the guy well because um, I did some sign writing for him did the sign above the, the, the cafe so what I'm going to do is uh, have an exhibition of these um, paintings and I'm going to put a board out and paint on his window just to say that the exhibition is there it'll be there for a couple of weeks Right, so um, that's what I'm going to do. I'll, I'll paint this board with art exhibition. Now, art's going to be a great word to use and mess about with an exhibition, probably nice and straight and plain and straightforward. But art, just three letters, and you mess about with it, which will be good fun. Um, right, well, it's uh, June now, June 2018. It's quite sunny and the flowers are all out. I've had a lot of fun in the garden and vegetables are coming on. The strawberries are nearly ready, and I'll sh I'm going to show you a shot of the strawberries as they are, looking really good. Um, so lots of things happening, but let me do some lettering for you. And um, I'm flagging up some of the um, the songs that I've written as well. And the one that's featured here is um, First and Last Mistake, um, which is just a... Uh, one of the ones we did for the Coventry Songwriting Group. I'm a member of the Coventry Song Writing Group. Not sign writing, song writing. So this is one of them. And you can see all my, uh, or listen to all my songs, if you so desire, on SoundCloud. I'll put the link later on. Okay, let's get on with what we do. And that's the lettering. This is an old board, which I don't want now. I'm going to paint it black with, oh that's a bit gummy, let's get some better stuff than that. This is <clears throat> masonry paint, in other words it's fit for outside, it's water based and you just roll it on. All these little sponge rollers are very good, this is not quite an old one but it doesn't matter too much, it'll be fine. So it might take a couple of coats to cover what was there before but it really freshens the board up and makes it good to go. Good to go, there's an Americanism for you. Right, let me just point out what I've got gathered together here. This is some Liquitex pot of this, about 13 pounds. Uh, white, soft body paint. Um, I'm using this brush which is about, oh, it's nearly an inch across I think. Maybe something like that. And um, I'm just going to mix in the top here with some water to um, get it the consistency I want. This is important to get it right. Get the consistency and the right amount on here. So a nice thick brush for the word art. With this uh, pencil crayon I'm just marking out the word art, an exhibition. So the, the letters are A-R-T there, exhibition across here and put my name at the bottom. 
Right, so I'm going to use this big thick brush, which is lovely to use. And basically the brush does the work. It's, as you can see, it's quite thick that way, thin that. Nicely loaded up. We do the word art. Here we go. The serifs are down there and there. And I think I'll do my standard slope round that way. I'm going to let everything overlap. And tidy all this up later. Bit more water. Don't worry about that. I'll charge that up later as well. And this is going to swoop down and around there. Right, make sure I get these thicknesses the same. I went once, twice. I'm going to go once there and twice again here. So just and give it a slight... <whistles> a waste, as they were, you might say, a waste to it. Thicker to the outside there, which I think looks quite nice. Oh, I'm dribbling. Sorry. Okay, let me dry that off and tidy it up. This time with a half inch brush. 12 millimeters to you and me in the metric world. The word exhibition. And I can do this um, hopefully just using the brush nicely. So you seem to be the girl for me. My eyes were wide awake. I thought my dreams had all come true, but that was my first mistake. You played me like a fish on a line. You pulled the strings of my heart. You did my head in day by day I wish we were apart Then I said I had to leave To go would be for the best now it's left a space here, quite close here, could have gone over there, not to worry. We always put something in there to fill that out. Right, now I'm just going to finish my name off at the bottom. Now this has got to pull over a bit, so I'm going to start here. You push me in, that was my last mistake. You play me like a fish on a line, you pull the string of my heart. Now I have to admit, the bottom edges of this, where the brush stopped, was not good. So, and it's an old brush, so, but I've got away with most of it. So what I'm going to do is just use the pen and just tidy these up a bit and put a nice defined heavy white line on the top. And actually it gives the letter a bit more punch by looking like it's been lit slightly from that side and that's tidied it up quite a lot might even get a black pen and just touch the end of those this is a mess of course so let's get that black pen and uh, just a black pen now to this ran terribly so if I do that at least it will tidy it up for now and also here I could just sharpen those 
and so that looks better let's put a bit more on here right next thing to do is to do more with this art now then how am I going to decorate it and make it stand out and make it look artistic so I think the first thing to do is just to get one layer on top of this so I'm going to, this, this A is going to come on the top so I've got to follow around with the line of this so we'll see where I'm going that's it and then the R has got to go on top of the T like that the R is on top of the T right leave me with a bit of a problem here because the T is showing through which I don't really want so I'm going to at least bring that heavy on there so that gives a white edge to that letter which is good and I think I'll follow that through here so that band there has got a white right hand side and white to the top so let's do the same here sorry if I'm in the way well I've had a think I'm going to start and put a red line across here and pack it in lower down this is um, quite an easy way of doing it really so I'm going for the middle of there as well to get a nice thin red here Right, and now to finish it off, I think I could put a paintbrush going through there. I want to fill this little space here, put some paint dribbling down. But that was my first mistake. You played me like a fish on a line. You pulled the strings of my heart. And the final move is to put a border around it. And I used to do white, but today I'm going to do red. Well, that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you for following this channel and I hope you like the artwork. I hope you like the paintings and some of the flowers and so on. 11,000 followers, I'm really pleased. I remember jumping up and down when I had a thousand, but I don't know why, but there you go. Nice to see everybody again and uh, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye-bye. Uh, this is the front of the workshop of course just remodeled all this and this is the mighty wisteria which uh, here's a shot which uh, came out in beautiful flower a few weeks ago and here in my greenhouse we've got uh, some tomatoes and all, these are actually i've got some little tomatoes on them now some more flowers over here which is fantastic and over this side, let me just pull you around a tad. Um, on the back here are some cucumbers. And these are some aster flowers ready to come forward. Now I have to say probably the piece de resistance is the strawberries, which are down here. Come on, come on down. blackbird they would eat them we'll keep them covered up here we are here we go look at that fella haha mm. one two more here look at these there's lots all these strawberries great when 
When I saw your pretty face, a move I had to make. I thought that you were heaven sent. That was my first mistake. You seemed to be the girl for me. My eyes were wide awake. I thought my dreams had all come true, but that was my first mistake.